Sundark Institute of Technology in 2002 came up with the idea of putting a wind turbine up on the campus. It had never been done before anywhere in the world at this scale. So the director at the time said to me, okay, well, let's look into it and uh, see how far down this road we can go. And so that's what we did. We had what was called a turnkey contract. So we put together the bid documents and we asked one supplier to do everything. And so that price was exactly 1,127,000 euro. And that includes 13.5% VAT, which we have to pay. So really it's a bit less than a million euro without VAT. The payback time of the wind turbine is about seven and a half years, assuming that the price of electricity doesn't uh, rise at all in the next number of years, which of course it will. That doesn't include any grants, and we actually got a substantial grant for about a third of the cost of the project from Sustainable Energy Ireland. So if you account for that, then we're talking about the wind turbine paying for itself in reduced electricity bills by within five years, less than five years. went like you would install any sort of large building or whatever uh, where you first you do the site works to prepare uh, the ground for receiving the turbine so a big uh, concrete foundation goes in about 20 truckloads of concrete uh, and a lot of reinforcing bar and uh, actually the very bottom section of the tower is embedded in that and so as usual, uh, that took a couple of months and uh, you didn't have much to show for it. There was just this little uh, bit of a tower sticking out of the ground. And then over the course of three days, uh, the turbine was erected. Um, there were five big truckloads came in, three tower sections, uh, one truckload for the blades and one for the box at the top, which is called the nacelle. And that was erected in three days, and it would have taken only two days, except the second day was rather windy, and uh, the crane, uh, you know, it was unsafe for the crane to lift on that day. The wind turbine produces about two million units of electricity a year and that would be half of what the college consumes. Of course, the college is adding buildings, and so it's a moving target. But at this point in time, it does about half of the college's electricity needs. And that's worth about 150,000 euro per year. The wind turbine by operating means that some electricity station somewhere doesn't have to burn fossil fuels. And so we offset the production of about a thousand tons of carbon per year. That would be maybe one third of the college's carbon emissions if the wind turbine wasn't there. We've had a very positive response from the community concerning the turbine. When we first had the idea, we walked around to all of our neighbors and said, we have a mad idea, it's never been done before, and maybe you like the idea and maybe you don't, but here are some photo montages of what we think it's gonna look like and it's big. Then we had a public information day and we put these same photographs in the newspaper and made sure that everybody knew we were pursuing this idea. And uh, at the end, there was not one planning objection for the tallest structure in Northeast Ireland, and it's in a town. So our planning consultant wrote to us when he learned that, and he said, uh, there is a God. That's all he said at the end of the process. So, um, so I think the town is quite positive about it. And since it's gone up, now the turbine is incorporated into the town logo. The, the, the subtext of the town logo, it says Dundalk, feel the energy. And uh, the L in Dundalk is a stylized wind turbine. So I think the town uh, is pretty pleased about it. Wind energy is a, a huge resource for Ireland and will play a major role in Ireland's energy future. We have so much 
wind power, that even if a small part of Ireland has wind turbines on it, we'll be able to provide a substantial amount of our energy needs. And the way the planning process has been working so far, about half of the wind projects make it through planning and half of them don't. And I think that's entirely appropriate and I think the planning process is doing its job. So the future is very bright for wind energy and actually for Ireland because there's not many places in the world who have a resource like that that they can exploit economically. Okay, we broke it. You killed it.